Hello everyone, welcome back to the Legend Hunters, play Danganronpa. In the last episode, we escaped from the trash bin and made a bet with Monokuma. And he took the bet. Yep. Now we gotta figure stuff out and first, rally the troops. First off, find our friends. I'm just running to the end. Hopefully they haven't gone completely batshit in the absence of our, uh... Of our main protagonist. Well, everyone is their own protagonist in their own story. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the cafeteria. Maybe they're in there. Let's see. As suddenly... And suddenly we were greeted with... <laughs> <laughs> you again! <laughs> is he broken? I suppose his emotional instability reached its limit. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, what the heck? I wonder what that was all about. I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Is hey! Aw, oh, the psychopath has had to see us. <laughs> and the serial killer. It is! There's no two ways about it, that's Makoto! Huh? You s survived? Jeez, you're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Given yes. give from you, yeah. Just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? You're the psychic. You tell me. <laughs> oh God, fuck you, hero. Um, that's already been established as one of the bad endings. <laughs> yeah. So no. Everyone was there. All my friends who had struggled together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. No. Wait, what's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks. It's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. Yeah. Get away! Shoo! Shoo! Glad to see you all, too. And in a flash, <laughs> my tears dried up. <laughs> Makoto's got some sass to him. Well, considering that he just died and pulled the Jesus, I still <laughs> can't believe you survived. Yeah, me either. Do you realize why it is you escaped execution? It was Alter Ego. He saved my life. Not too many people can say that they had their lives saved by a computer program. Hmm. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. Hero? Always pleasant to talk with you, man. Makoto, what was it like here hanging out in the spirit world, man? I didn't go to the spirit world. No. You Did you get to talk to her? Who? Miss hmm. Cleo! Oh, Cleopatra. No, I think she's ta I think he's talking about one of those daytime talk uh, psychics. Oh, my God. I think that's who he's talking about. Oh, my God. No, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? Hina! I don't think I need to go to the kitchen right now. <laughs> Hina! So, what have you guys been doing while I, while I was gone? Well, we figured that since the trial was over, we'd have access to new places again. And? No dice. All the rooms that were locked before were still locked. So there weren't any new areas. Then where can we go to find new clues? <sighs> you stink! Are you rotten? Rotten physically, mentally, every way you can't be rotten. Um, I was rolling around in garbage for a while. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I win. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loses. Damn it! <laughs> I hate Toko. <laughs> the chill is just so much fun. Makoto. Yeah. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Ex no, go ahead. Explain? Explain what? But is it okay for, that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? That's related to what I have to tell you all. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Last class trial? In other words... We're going to redo Mukuro's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? No, I didn't do it like I keep telling you. Makoto isn't the killer, and of course it's not me or any of you. 
Then who is it? What she's saying is it was all the work of the mastermind. Huh? What? Are you saying the mastermind killed Mukuro? That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contrived by the mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to do to stop it. But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What did you say? You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? You make it sound like it was easy. Just, I just, you know. But executing Makoto, who wasn't the blackened, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state that only the blackened is to be executed. The mastermind broke their own rules. Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. Huh? And the mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? They had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Biaki is a smart bastard. I recall what you said at the end of the last class trial. When you said, now it's the mastermind that's ensnared, that's what you were referring to. Don't be mean! Hey, I'm totally in the dark here! Dude, you're all... You might want to cut your hair so you can actually see the light! For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again. Later. So, knowing all of this, what do we do now? It's all about who killed Mukuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind? Hmm. There's more to it than that, correct? Um, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Every last mystery? But we've been looking around all this time, and we still don't know anything, right? You've probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh, everyone? We hate you. Hey, who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us? Yeah. I'm fine with things the way they are. I'm fine living here forever with Master. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as possible. Anyway. Humanly possible. Or inhumanly possible. I've been living with her this entire time. You have no idea. <laughs> anyway, at this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. In other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But figuring out who the mastermind is and how they killed Mukuro and all the school's mysteries... It's a pretty tall friggin' order. Maybe, but this time tri the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we can solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. <coughs> huh? I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. You can't agree? Why not? I, I mean, mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve I mean, all the mysteries. That's what I thought too, at first. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint? But the this, killing, yeah. One in the, short, one of the, the students, students yeah. is the mastermind. <clears throat> yeah. Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? But why? If the, oh, go ahead. If the mastermind really is the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko says, then the mastermind would have had to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma could, could probably murder Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. But according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. Then the mastermind is... There were 15 of us in the main... Oh. There were 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning, and in Mukuro, you get 16. So the mastermind would have to be one of them? And of those 16 people we started with, the only ones still alive are the people standing right here. Need I continue, or do you get it now? Are you saying the mastermind is one of us? No way. I will say this, if Hiro was actually the mastermind... He would have been the greatest mastermind of all time. Yeah. But honestly, I kind of got a theory of my own for the mastermind. I'm not going to go ahead and say who it is, but I'll give my own little hint. Yeah? My theory involves the number one rule of figuring things out regarding any mystery. How they died. Nope. The exceptions. The exceptions. Mm-hmm. That's, I believe, the most I can give without completely divulging my theory. Mm-hmm. But 
all I can say is there is an exception within all of the deaths. Mm -hmm. Monaco might have just said all that to confuse us. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. Yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate, right? The ultimate despair, so they must be a high schooler. You can't say it's not possible. I mean, you are a serial killer. Yeah. In fact, Genocide Jill is, is labeled as the ultimate serial killer. By, by the way, ultimates in Japan are actually named, uh, called super duper high school level. Instead of ultimate. Nice. So she's the super duper high school level serial killer. Oh boy. I'm kind of glad they changed it to ultimate. Yeah, one word, three syllables. Yeah. But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Maybe they snuck off and controlled him in secret. I don't care how sneaky you are, we would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. Then maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. Well, it wouldn't, wouldn't entirely be possible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Here we go. All right. I Let's hear it. Uh, this is a school announcement. You've all probably figured this out by now. At this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. Seriously? So in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? Mm -hmm. oh, very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. The so, time for us to talk is done. We need to begin our investigation. But... I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. At this point, I can't rely... I can rely only on myself, on the Togami blood flowing through my veins. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Well, well then... then. After making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. Get master! He didn't take me with him! Do you we blame him? Without master, the rest of you are like coffee without cream. Without the cream or coffee. So we're the mug. Um, you can still kill someone with the mug, you know. I mean, you're a serial killer. <laughs> she was like, you're all useless! So bye. <laughs> she was like all energetic and she was just like bye waltzed off that toko trudged out of the dining hall and now she's gone are you really going to go off your, by yourself right kyoko that's right which just leaves makoto hina and me in that case i'm going to go by myself too <laughs> wait how come just wait and see i'm going to use my totally awesome spirit powder to figure out the mastermind's identity <laughs> hmm. Everyone's really going to go off by themselves. What about you, Hina? Um, I guess I'll do the same thing. But... I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know? I mean... But up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If, I had, if you hadn't been there, I would have died. Kodo. <laughs> I mean, that's really nice of you to say. But still, I know I've been mostly totally useless. Okay. So I figure, at least here at the end, maybe I can find something that'll help us all get out of here. So I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> okay, see you later. Hina was surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. Well, athletes do have this thing about when your back's against the wall. Yeah, it's just us two. Indeed. Alright. So you're gonna go off on your own too, right Kyoko? Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to do our searches separately doesn't mean we can't still work together. So... That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigation doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. 
I should just see it as a splitting up to cover more ground. And then we can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'd better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Monokuma said all the doors in the school had been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We could not visit all the places we couldn't go to before. Makoto, no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone, leaving only me. Didn't have time to waste either. I had to begin my search. I still can't believe the Mastermind might be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove that the Mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose his true identity and solve the mystery of the school. And then we can all escape together! I'm actually of the opinion, again, that Mastermind hasn't exactly been lying. Nope. However, they were dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time through the knife, which went completely through the body. They also been struck in the head with an object. The body was also covered in uh, with other wounds. But, but these were at least several days old. Once we find out who killed Mukuro Ikusaba, then we'll know who the Mastermind is. So where should I start my investigation? Guess I should start with one of the rooms that were locked up until now. Headmaster's room, bio lab, door in the data center with Monokuma's face on it. Oh, and the second floor of the dorms. Where the gate was down before. That should be open now, right? After that, I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder. Which means the garden and the dojo. Okay, time to get started. Places to check. Good thing that he wrote it all down. Good, good thing I remember this map. Uh, let's start with, uh, let's start with the bio lab. Alrighty. There's the boss. Yep. Rush here where we're going. Raw! It's fucking raw! That Gordon Ramsay joke will never get old. Never. Well, here I am in the bio lab. It's so cold! It's like abnormally cold. I feel like I'm, I'm in a giant refrigerator. Seriously, why is it cold? You mean freezer. Okay, here's this. I mean, there's ice! There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall, and on the left side there's a bunch of glowing blue lights. But on the other side... Okay. Let's see, we're right here. Ugh, so cold! Why is it so cold in here? Okay. Oh. Stack of tarps. Seeing a lot of those things lately. What about the shelves? Oh. Oh, there's a second one over there. Yeah. There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. I've seen something like this before. Oh, that's it. I must have seen things in horror movies and stuff. It's a fridge for storing dead bodies. Does this mean the biolab is actually a morgue? Oh, God. I should probably take a closer look around. Oh, God. Let me double check. Yep. Okay. The ones on the left, the lights are off. Wait a minute, how many lights are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And how many blocks are there? Okay, 10, 11, nine. 12, 13, 14, 15. 16. There are 16 friggin' How many of us are left? Uh, let's see. There's me, Kyoko. Oh Yakia. God! There's one remain. That's there's one. There's someone still alive. Yep. Which means all the bodies were stored. Those are all. Oh God! Fuck! Those lights are bodies. Booklet, instruction manual. We offer an eco-friendly alternative to standard dry ice for your cadaver needs. In addition to the germicidal lamps, we also provide an ozone generation, uh, generator for the removal of ethylene gas. Simply insert the cadaver and a blue light will let you know the automated system has activated. Temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimum settings. With our system, anyone can keep a body for as fresh as a daisy for as long as you need. In the unlikely event of a problem, the red light will activate and an alarm will sound immediately. The exterior is stainless steel and we'll do and we do offer an optional leather upholstery pack upgrade package. This is the instruction manual for the fridge. Did you not miss the word cadaver? It seems clear to me. Some kind of makeshift morgue. Okay, he did get it. Okay. okay. And all about those lights. Looks like which would mean inside 
each of these slots lit up in blue, another one of the victims is. Okay. I can't let my emotions take control right now. There's only one thing I can do for everyone who's died, and that's defeat the mastermind. And to do that, I must continue my investigation. I don't have any other option. All right, I'm going to double check these tarps. Uh, what about up there? Okay. Icicles hanging from the monitor. Okay. I'm going to double check these this, these over here. Okay. Just double checking. Oh, I can leave. So we're done in here for now. All right. We had a fucking morgue. Okay. Uh, here's the dojo. Let's have a look. Let's check everything on this floor first. Hey, Toko. Oh, Toko. So this is where you were. What do you want? I'm Am I so disgusting you want me out of your sight? No, that's not it at all. I just thought maybe you'd found a clue. Well, I haven't. I didn't find anything. Not one single clue. I figured since this place was related to the case, it would have, have something, right? But there wasn't anything out of the ordinary here. Give it back! Give me back my precious time! Calm down, Toko. Don't tell me to calm down! You have any idea what I I'm going through right now? When everyone finds out, they're gonna call me useless! Good for nothing! Nobody's gonna say that. Master Will! I'm not sure I can disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have fun here on the Legend Hunters. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Well, I don't think there are any clues here, so maybe I'm going to get going. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to quickly check this. Okay. <sighs> it was just safe. Mastermind's way to frame Kyoko. Uh-huh. Yep, so I guess that's it. Just... Okay. There's something in here, if I recall, right? Hmm. Oh, right, it's the garden. The man-eating prance. Um. Huh. It's gone. Mukuro's body. It's, it's not, not here. here. Which means it's already in the morgue. Oh, dear. Okay, so let's see. Sprinkle control panel. 730 can't be changed. Okay, chickens. Still just four chickens. Honestly, it'd be kind of terrified if there were more than that. Giant plant. Monokuma flower. Is it true? Does it really eat paper, plastic, or people? Well, I don't think it's related to the case, so I'd better keep my distance. Oh, right, the shed, the shed. We need to go to the shed. To the shed! Maybe the body's inside the tool shed. Better check, just to be sure. All right. I didn't find anything even close to a dead body. Could it be in the bio lab? But corpses aren't the only thing I need to check in there. There's one thing, that tarp. Yeah, this is what we needed to look at. The killer used the tarp to keep the sprinklers from getting the body wet. Which means mm. the killer might have left some clue behind here. Huh? huh? Bio. Oh, hello. It says bio lab. Then this originally came from the bio lab? Which means only someone who could access the bio lab would have been able to get the tarp out of there. Yep. That's what we needed from here, so let's go back to the bio lab. And, uh, just double check. Because there were only... There's a extra light off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just going to check this again. Some kind of weird machine. Left side, bunch of glowing lights. Only some of the lights are on, only the ones on the left. Right hand lights are off. Okay, is that really all I can check? Check. So is everyone who died, then does that mean, since Mukuro's body disappeared from the garden, could it be in here? I'm gonna check, but I have absolutely no idea how to open this thing. Check the tarps. One more time. There's a stack of tarps here. 
Okay. Yeah, we're done here. Okay, so let me pull up the map. All right. Checking. Do, 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 do. All right, third floor. Ah. Right, 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 right. Uh, the data lab. To the data lab. There's the door with Monokuma. Hey, Makoto. Hey, Makoto. Are you here to look around, too? Is that what you're doing here? Yeah, I can't help but wonder about that Monokuma door. So I figured, if all doors in the school have been locked, that one should be open, too, right? Although, I couldn't bring myself to open it. Because it might explode, right? And that really suck. So you open it. Thank you for throwing me under the bus, Sayo. <laughs> Hina? <clears throat> Thank you, Hina. All right. Here I come, bus. <laughs> <sighs> okay, go ahead. Everything will be okay, right? All right, here goes nothing. Threw my weight onto it, but it turned out to be easier than expected. Oh, God. There was no explosion, thankfully. My first impression was... Whoa! Whoa this place is totally sci-fi. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. What the heck? I mean, every part of the school leaves a bad taste in my mouth, but this place is just, like, number one gross in, like, a totally different league of creepy. Okay, so, just checking. Uh, numbers on the wall, 04186. I, have, I think it's just gibberish. What is this device? It looks like a control panel. Really over the top, though, like some kind of military installation or something. Yeah, it kind of looks like a mech cockpit, right? Hifumi would probably freak out if he saw it. Cockpit? cockpit? So the Monokuma room has a control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit. Then could that mean... All right, let's start poking at it or whatever. I'm going to start pushing buttons. H hold on, you can't just or whatever something like this. Well, it was too late. He was already jabbing away at the control panel. Huh? Did you hear that? I think it came from the other room. You know, what did you push? I'm not totally sure, but I think it was that one. The button that says data center? Data center? Buttons with each of the names of a room next to it. And just like that, there was one labeled data center. Must be the one she pushed, but the data center. How many times can we say data center? Data center. All right, we'll check it out. Hold on, I want to check this first. It's so kind of hatch in the floor, but right now I need to check the data center. Return to the data center. Did I just hear what I think I heard? Oh no! Is that Monokuma? He's so tiny! Hey! Give me all your donuts! Is that you, Hina? Aw, aw, I'm busted. How did you know? The donuts. Anyway. Anyway, what is this? Some kind of remote control camera kind of setup? You don't even know what you're controlling? Well, I mean, I can't really see anything from in here. Uh, I I guess what I found is not the struck button. Whatever you do, don't push it! Aw, oh, man. Are you seriously going to push it? Anyway, I guess that settles it. The room where the monocle was drawing on it and, and the control panel inside... That activates the Monokumas, and whoever is in this room can control and speak through them. Yep. Whoa, hey Makoto, what the heck was that just now? Monokuma. Huh? What do you mean? What you were controlling just now, it was Monokuma. Monokuma? What, for real? Yep, it looks like that panel definitely controls Monokuma. Which means the Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. Yeah, they were definitely in here. The Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. And this control room is totally separate from the data center with all the monitors. In other words... Hey. Maybe the Mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Kyoko's theory was right. But if the Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from here, that means they've been inside the school this entire time, right? I guess that would have to be true. But if that is true... 
Yeah. It's a very polarizing yeah, approach. Yeah, we've seen this one already. Yeah. So it is looking more and more like there's a 16th student who's been working behind the scenes. Yeah. No, it can't be. There's no way, right? Monokuma control room. I don't like that face you're making. Oh, no. It's nothing. Oh, okay. What's What about you? Is everything okay? Oh, well, it's just... This is where the mastermind's been hiding, right? Who knows if they set up traps or something? I can't say it isn't possible, but I really hope it's not true. So, like, you want to leave soon? There's still lots of other places to check out. Yeah, good point. We can't waste our time standing around here. Okay, you want to get going? Yeah. yeah. So she's asking us to go out. As soon as the door to the data center was closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? that? Ah, the door just locked on its own! What? My hand shot to grab the doorknob. You're right, it's locked, but why? <laughs> he was in that hatch. The data center is now restricted. Monokuma? Hey, no fear, you can't just go around restricting whatever you feel like. It's for your benefit. Because if that room stays open, I won't be able to move around. Imagine how depressed everyone would get if the school mascot just up and stopped moving. Then that room. As you may have guessed, that's where my controls are. So right now you're being operated by someone in that room. Correctamundo. But how does that make any sense? We were just in there and we didn't see anyone. Oh, you didn't, did you? <laughs> are you sure you were as thorough as you could have been? Did you happen to check a certain suspicious hatch? No way! The hatch on the floor? <laughs> Too bad. It was your one big chance and you blew it. Too bad. Of oh. course, that hatch can't be opened from the outside anyway, so whatever. Now then, this room was officially restricted, so no more investigating. I'll be re relying on you guys to tell the others. Peace! Um, Fuck you! So the mastermind was in there the whole damn time. Yep. I kind of figured. Yep. Then we should leave. Well, that hatch couldn't be open from the outside anyway, right? So it's not your fault. Uh, okay. Anyway, we don't have to let it get to us. We just have to stay positive and make the most of the time we have left. You're right. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's keeping my body moving. Okay, I'm going to go run around and tell everyone what he found here. Nice! You've got me all motivated again! I'm out. See you later! Nina took off at full sprint. Dust cloud behind her. And I have to do what I can, too. The only way forward. I think... Alright, we're at 33 minutes. Should we keep going? I think... We can go one more round. One more round? One more round! Okay, so... Map... Oh, shit. Okay, I would bother trying. How about this one? What if I can open this locker? Nope, locked. Card readers installed in the door. Maybe that's how you get the lockers open. After all, I'm, it's pretty similar to the card readers in the locker rooms on the second floor of the school. Yeah, choose your hand. So does that mean, well, let's give it a try. And then, no luck. No luck. Maybe the, only the owner can open it, which means none of us can do it. All right. Nope, locked. Okay, so we can't do anything here. I just realized there's one more place we can go to, but I think we'll go ahead and check that out in the next episode because we can't check any of these here. Okay, so none of these lockers can be opened? Yeah, so in the next episode, we will continue our investigation. We keep walking past dead bodies. When will it stop? Wait, what's in here? Oh. This room doesn't really feel like a student's room. It has more adult atmosphere. It's the headmaster's private room. Hi, Kyoko! You know what? I'm going to stop us right here. Next time with the Legend Hunters, we're going through the headmaster's private stuff. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't get 50 shades up in here. Oh, God! <laughs> Later. Bye.